What it do or don't do, it's your boy J to the Mo, the XO, with another plug up reaction. Today's topic, the streets versus the internet streets and snitching. Man, I, it, it's been wild on this internet, man, on this internet streets, the, the snitching allegations, everybody's labeled a snitch, it's all a bunch of paperwork that's real, fake, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's just everybody's um, a, a detective or, or a spokesman for the, you know, the, the street culture and all that type of stuff. Well, I'm here to let you know, there are two different things, man. These internet streets don't have nothing to do with these real streets. The real streets, the cats who's really active and really in them real streets, they're not on the internet putting themselves out there. And the ones who do are getting locked up because it's, it's, it's foolish. It's just like, it's an alley-oop. Like I said in the last video, you throwing yourself up right there by the rim and the, and the law enforcement is dunking you right through the hole because you're giving them information on the internet. But for these other guys who's um, made it at their job, like your 1090 Jake and your um, WAC 100 who made it their job to report people's problems, paperwork, and, and, and situations that, that I, I just, I'm not really a fan of that because in the streets, snitches don't get stitches. They get ditches. So you're kind of putting some blood on your hands when you pull up this paperwork and you tell it to millions of people and they react. And the people who got snitched on or the people who did the snitching, they end up in a situation. Now, in the streets, that's what you got coming to you, but it's supposed to be handled in the streets and it's supposed to come from the streets, not someone sitting on the internet in front of their phone or computer reading off paperwork, making it sound like they are representation of the government or the street government or something like that. You're not. You just can read good. You can read well and you can download and you order and you spend your money on ordering people's paperwork who you don't know. It's, it's wild to me that these people don't know these people, but yet find it their whole business to go get in it. Like, that's wild. And then they claim to be street people and from the penitentiary and stuff like that. Where is your morals? Where's your street morals? What happened to them? When you give up the street doesn't mean you give up your morals. It doesn't mean you turn into a, 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 a fuck boy. It doesn't mean you turn into a gossip, a chatty patty. It doesn't mean that your job is now to influence people to go against other people in the, in this world. It's crazy. It, it, it's enough of that in the streets. And I feel like we should lead that in the streets and leave that up to street people to handle their business. Because some of these people, they let the situations go that they got told on. And then these guys bring up the paperwork and, and re-agitate the whole situation. Like the dude, um, I forget his name, BSB or whatever, from um, Vlad. You know, that situation already previously happened where his, his girl killed the guy and he went on Vlad and and and, and basically re-irritated the whole situation. And it's like peeling off an old scab. You see the blood. Now it's time. It's time. You feel me? And you put these other cats in positions. Maybe they were, you know, not man enough or street enough to go handle themselves. But after people start calling, inboxing at them and showing them the situation that's going to force their hand. And now this dude on the run, these people on the run are incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? And from the power of the internet, people who don't even care, these people on the internet don't, they're not street people, they're sidewalk people. They watch the streets from the sidewalk and this is close as they're getting and you guys are giving them a front seat pass to being involved in it because their opinions and, and, and it's power. And people start to listening and start adding people and saying this and saying that. And it will force someone's hand or not. You feel me? But it's not your business. It's not you to be calling that shot. And you just putting blood on your hand. You feel me? And then they got fake paperwork. You guys, it's easy to watch, to download some real some paperwork and mimic that on a computer and print it out and upload it and send it to people. It's very easy. Like it, it, it should be, you know, it seals and things to, to authenticate the paperwork. You guys gotta look a little deeper, but y'all don't care. Y'all just, y'all the, y'all the audience and y'all get hyped off of this and y'all say your little opinions and stuff. But to the people, to the people who does have morals, to you people who does call, who do call yourself street people, 
is not looking like that. But let's get into this, brother. He has some good things to say, uh, some smart things to say. Um, he was, you know, referring to 1090 Jake and them and the paperwork, but he has some good education on, on this on this game. So if you're a big homie, why do you move me like that? It seems like he's always minding somebody else's business. But on the, on the flip side, he is really good at finding out, like, get paperwork on people and trying to call them out and stuff like that. Is it real? I never know if it is because, I mean, we've seen all seen the fake pictures. Tell me, the paper, let me see the PSI. That's how you know if it's real. Yeah. Tell me the PSI because he going to have to sit there. You got the PSI tell you when they six, if they've been in the juvenile system when they nine, CPS system. So if this can produce this and this man go get the real paperwork and produces all this, what do we say now? See, the image should not be exposed to real paperwork and fake paperwork. I know how it looks. Yeah, yeah. He said, see, when it's, when it's FBI, it's that, it's that bird and the chain color, it's that seal. You cannot duplicate that. Mm -hmm. You can't. All you do is shine in your corner, corner to the light like that with the sun. It's going to shine. Boom. You cannot duplicate it, bro. You cannot duplicate it. So these like a fake paperwork. What I don't get is, and maybe let me get your opinion on this. Why in the world would you make some snitch paperwork up on somebody that's fake? You put in the life in danger in all your situation. You know? We want it. To, to try to belittle that person, to try to make that person feel this and that. Um, they try to do the charts and write. You can go. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's 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 wild that people who considered who was locked in behind bars, who's locked up behind bars, are rallying other people to the bars. Like these 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 uh, clips you guys are making, this this word that you guys are spreading, uh, all it's doing is causing more and more issues. You feel me? It's like beefs getting re you know, rehashed and, and brought back to the light. Um, old wounds, old hate. It's it's wild. You know what I'm saying? But you guys don't take no responsibility towards that. You guys just get your checks. You guys just continuously to live your life off being internet famous and eating and riding around and doing doing what you do. You feel me? And um that's not right. By the codes of these streets, it's not right. But the street life is over, and y'all got to pay attention to that. You now witnessing the internet streets, and you guys are a part of it. I'm out.